Hey guys and welcome back to travel vlog number four and this is Havana. We started in the central part having a little walk around and getting our bearings and here are some of the photos and videos that we took. So the footage you're seeing now is the tour of our first hostel that we stayed in in Havana. We stayed here for one night? Yes, one night. Yeah, one night because we went um, down to Havana a day earlier than we were supposed to or were planning to. Um, but this hostel was really, really cute. They had a really cute courtyard with tables outside your room so we could have breakfast there in the mornings. Kind of wanted to stay there an extra day. Yeah, it would have been really, really nice. And the hallway that Melissa's walking down now, there were three separate rooms, uh, but they were really, really nice and I'd really, really recommend it. It was called Casa Manrique. And then back to some more exploring of Havana. So after walking around for the day, a bit of exploring and moving hostels, we decided to go to a Cuban Revolutionary Museum uh, with all of the facts and stuff about Cuba and uh, the particular people who were really important during the wars. And here are a few of the cars and vehicles that we used as well, which I personally thought was really, really cool. After taking in all the sites of the Revolution Museum, we decided to go to Old Havana, take in some of the sites there and go and grab a couple of drinks and this is where we caught a picture of this really, really cool street art. Today was spent going on an open bus tour around Havana and this was around about 10 CUC which was actually quite cheap and then it took you to all the spaces that you wanted to go to and you could just jump on and off and take photos and then jump on the next bus that came around and go back to the start. We decided to stop for some food halfway through the day and we had a nice friend come and join us for um, quite a few miles actually before we found some food and place to eat. After our lunch we wanted to go and see the plaza um, of the revolution sort of statue again. Uh, just the sheer size of it was very interesting to me personally and then also the signs of Che and uh, Camilo Simfagos I believe his name is. Um, but yeah, they were just a really really surreal place. We spent our third day trying to go over to the other side of the island where there was a Christ statue and a cool castle 
and also uh, whilst we were going over to that side we tried to grab ourselves one of the Cuban cars to take us over there. Um, it actually cost a fair bit more than we wanted it to um, so it, I would recommend you guys if you want to go in one of these cars to just get an hour tour of Cuba in one of these cars and it will cost you a significant amount cheaper than what it cost us to just get over to the other side of the island. San Cristobal, which is where Barack Obama at, and also Beyonce and Jay Z. Oh, Queen so, B. So we are gonna go and see the San Cristobal. Yeah. Apparently it's gonna be pretty busy, so we might have to be waiting for a little bit. Though. Yeah, but it's cool. We get to eat where President Obama and Jay Z and Beyonce at. Cool for Jay Z. This is a, what are the typical castles. Houses are like in Cuba. Yes. They're all like upstairs, so they have like a doorway um, on the street and then loads of stairs. Cuba or Havana. Here we go, baby, on our way to San Cristobal. I'm recording. Hey. So we are in San Cristobal. This is the restaurant where Jay Z and Barack Obama and Beyonce ate. We're super excited on the photos on the wall. Hey guys, just had my first paella. Oh, yeah, paella. paella. Uh, rice and chicken. Could have done with a few more veggies, but it was an interesting experience nonetheless. And then I had um, seafood paella, but it was like shrimp. Just look at the size of the plates, they are humongous. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get ice creams now, aren't we? Yeah, helados. Helados. Yeah. As well, guys, we're eating at a really cute um, restaurant. It wow. looks like this. It's only a really small place, but it's really, really cute. The coast, like the sea line, is just down there. It's really cute as well. We've got our ice cream. Uh, it's cream. I got chocolate, obviously. Ice cream. I so, we are on our way to find, what's it called? Uh, Castilla La Grill Bueza. Yeah. It's our last full day in Havana, so we leave tomorrow, which is Saturday, which is the 12th, is that right? 12th, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we're just trying to find the uh, castle. This is where we are at the moment. Oh, All nice. the little puppers. Wow. Someone across this church. Nice little courtyard as well. Yeah, and this is cool. We see quite a few ladies like this that do, I think they do like braiding and um, palm reading. There's loads of little restaurants everywhere. It's really, really cool. The little puppers. If I could save each and every one of these, I would. Down the street in Cuba. Old Havana. Oh yeah, Old Havana we are in. Oh, I know where we're coming to. Cafe Paris is down here. Oh yeah. Cute little bar. Souvenirs. They've got loads of these number plates which I think are really cool. about you but one of my favorite things about being in Havana and just Cuba is whenever you eat out at a restaurant there's always a band playing there so you've always got music which is really cool they probably can't hear you now how loud it is oh yeah it's quite loud so loud so we've actually eaten here at this cafe a few 
few times and we're actually planning on going there later on as well. Really cute. <laughs> Got a park coming up, which is really, really nice as well. We came here on our first night, didn't we? Yeah, it was really pretty. Really? And we're back pretty. here because this is this is where the castle is that we're gonna go and yeah. possibly see. We've got a nice statue in the middle there. A bit of flora and fauna. That's flora? Nice. Yeah, like flowers and stuff, I think. Oh. I think that's what they call that. The trees. Nice trees. Into the park. A perfect there's, place to come in a, in a metropolis like Havana. There's loads of these around as well. Mm. Like these parks just popped up in the middle of places. Ah, oh, here we go. It's a little map for you. They don't have any English. I don't think so. Mm. This is it. Palm trees everywhere. I love palm trees. They just make everything look so pretty. It's a touchy subject for us because we've had to deal with five days of this. That's People, just in Havana as well. And just in Havana and the rest of the Cuban time has been spent saying no thank you to people who keep asking us for a taxi. Yeah. Taxi! Taxi! No thank you! No thank you! So That's, it's been... What was it the other day when we were walking? Were we in Havana? We were walking down somewhere and uh, literally what felt like every 50 metres someone had asked us. And yeah. This is nuts. It's just like... It's just, crazy and then the amount of times you'll get asked if you want a Cuban cigar as well. Yeah. I had someone um, ask if we're from Australia <laughs> which I love they thought our accent sounded like it was Australian I was like yes no sadly not. Um, we've had someone ask if we're Italian, French and Spanish is the number one. People seem to think we're Spanish which I don't mind because it means I'm hoping that's just because we've got a bit of a tan. Yeah, I think I think they meant you look Spanish because they kept asking me if I wanted Cuban cigars. So <laughs> I think I still look like a tourist, but Melissa looks Spanish. So we just got some churros. I had these in France once, and I love them. And Todd's never had them before, apparently. Never had. So we're them. gonna have our first ever churros. Let's get his reaction. Sugary churros. Mmm, good. Mm. Hey, yeah, they're good. That's ah, good. <laughs> And that is it guys that was our trip to Havana hope you guys have enjoyed this video we'll be back with our next video which will be the start of our trip to Cancun and uh, we'll see you guys later bye 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 bye